morning dear students and welcome back to HS second year online class dear students today we are going to learn from this topic which is called kinship and what we find here in the textbook kinship is considered as one of the major social institutions it is found in every human society through which human relationship of the society are maintained so it is clearly mentioned that kinship is considered one of the major social institution okay in the human society and it is found in every human society through which human relationship of the society are maintained through which the human society okay about their relationship can be maintained and dear students this is the meaning of kinship which i underline in the textbook the bound of blood or marriage which binds people together into or in group is called kinship so this is the meaning of kinship the bound of blood or marriage which binds people together in group okay it's called kinship next we will learn types of kinship so dear students what we find here there are two types of kinship the first one is a female kinship okay and the second one is consanguineous kinship now let us uh okay let us learn the first one a female kinship what does it mean and dear students this is all about a female kinship the bound of marriage is called a female kinship when a person marries he establishes relationship not only with the girl whom he marries but also with a number of other people in the girl's family so it is all about kinship or uh, we can say this is a primary kinship okay like uh, uh, husband and wife okay a son and father okay and the daughter and the mother this type of relationship is called a female kinship next we will learn consanguineous kin okay this is all about consanguineous kinship and the bond of blood is called consanguineous kinship okay bond of marriage is called a female kinship whereas the bond of blood is called consanguineous kinship and consanguineous kin are related to blood whereas the female kin are related through marriage the bond between parent and their children and then between siblings is consanguineous kinship siblings are the children of same parents so we can take for intense son brother sister uncle nephew and cousin are consanguineous kin related through blood there's then this is the next point degree of kinship there are two types of degree of kinship the first one is primary kins Okay, and the other one is secondary kins. So next class we will discuss about these two type of uh, degree of kinship system. Thank you. Mm -hmm.